Since it was first erected in 1973, Anamibia's big trout has had many different colour schemes. However, this latest paint job has left quite a few locals scratching their heads, including fishing guide Michael Shanahan. Look, I can't, I can't complain that much. I didn't put my hand up to paint it. Uh, you know, if I had, I probably wouldn't have given it uh, this sort of job because it's been through a few iterations and this is, uh, this is, I'd say, one of the most basic of all of them. <laughs> and so it doesn't look like a rainbow trout? Is that, is that, is that what you're trying to oh, say? Oh, look, look, to, a, to an unpractised eye, you'd be like, yes, that is a trout because the original sculpture is a fantastic, you know, representation of a trout. It's a cool thing about the trout is it's not like a lot of your other big things. There's even another big, there's a few other big trout and even the original sculptures of them look a bit dodgy. They're kind of more stylized, you know, the head's too big, everything's a bit off. This one looks like a fantastic, you know, perfect 12 inch rainbow, you know, your summertime special up here on the Yukon Bean. Um, and it used to have some fantastic paint jobs through the years. I grew up, you know, under one of the original old paint jobs but then got redone um, and then I mean, the last paint job before this was pretty bad. It didn't last too long, uh, but now it's, yeah, this one's, again, they've kind of gone a bit more simplistic again. If I, I, I almost feel remorse. I should have put my hand up more and, you know, I should have uh, done something else about it myself because you can't complain unless you sort things out yourself, basically. Um, but it's, look, it's still going to work for tourists. They're still going to like it. But if you go through and find some of the older photos, some of the um, photos from when I was growing up, and the original paint job, not even the original paint job, it would have been the second or third paint job, which lasted for years. It had this beautiful, you know, it was airbrushed, it was all perfect. It wasn't kind of slapped on in direct lines and everything else. And when you've got something as realistic as this statue, you really want to see something as beautiful as it. So next time, I'll wait. I'll wait till, you know, Snowy Mountains weather has a way of uh, chipping away at these things pretty quick. And uh, I'll put my money where my mouth is next time and put up some guided days for it and we'll get it repainted again. <laughs>